the foul. Oh, no, no. Oh. Keep your hands on the wheel, old son. Keep your hands on the wheel. This is Lucas Degrassi. Close does he get? Oh, oh well, wow. he didn't. Oh, the the, he picks ahead. up a space because Jerome D'Ambrosio ran right up the back and Nelson Pique, who was slow off the corner there because yeah. he ran out so wide he couldn't pick up the throttle or he hit the wall. And there's Sam Bird having a look. Oh, oh, good look it Sam. didn't take long, did it, for him to have a bit of a lunch. But look at Nick Heidfeld, the red and white car, right behind Alex Lim. So that lead quintet is still nose to tail. Rose the move. He's got him. Oh, he's got him. He's got, got him. He's got to get it through the corner. Going for the lead. Fantastic. Look how close he is coming out of the. Turn five. Oh, oh, F. Too late to bend the gap. Yeah. Tactical drift. Yeah, well, a beautiful move by Sam He Bird. thought he closed the gap enough, and, and Sam Bird sent it late, and perhaps, oh, he was in two oh, lines as to whether to try and shunt the, the bird, uh, Bird's car into the wall and decided, no, I'll keep all my wheels. So Sam Bird has the lead. Chuck oh, for Alex oh, Lynn. What Lock happened? up at the Lynn's, back of the car. Mechanical, he's out. So Alex Lynn. Has he broken the suspension? Or was it just a massive lock-up? And there you go, yeah. Big oh, yeah. snap at the back wow. of the car. Did a good job to keep it out of the wall and to stay out of everybody else's way. And he was just trying to drive out of that chicane so he's less of a danger. Differences here, you can get really close. Rosenquist under real pressure. Degrassi had a really good lunge, Dario. Yeah, he's gonna have to, it's a bit of a very brave move. He does it, he's got the wrong side because Felix Rosenquist is defending. Hear him locking the tires. Oh, oh he's still oh, on. Round he goes. goes Degrassi. Oh, no. I mean, that's Degrassi just used the experience and it, it just suckered him into a mistake. Did you hit something? Oh, this car okay. Looks like the car was okay. At this point, you're thinking, just be quiet a minute. Let me get the car back yeah. on in the right direction, please. Right. Yeah. Okay, see that he's, he's always. Felix just went in too hot, too tight, yeah. and too hot. Boom. And bash bosh. Yep. You know, it looks like Rosu Chris got more problems than just that rear wing. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, that is That's Nick, Nick Heidfeld. Heidfeld. He's dropping sure down the possible. order, okay. and that means the right rear. You have already Daniel Ash is in third. Yeah, broken right rear suspension. Oh, is Lucas right. Degrassi now up to fifth position. Okay, let's see what we can see. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ran over the curb. Look at it yeah, break yeah. right there. Well, that so, was the straw that broke the camel's back. White flag lap. Here we go. Jeb is there, Daniel Aft outbreaks himself, gives away the podium, oh, or does he? His teammate. Lucas Degrassi gets through. I was wondering whether he'd done it deliberately for Lucas Degrassi, but to Cheetah, Double have podium. two cars on the podium. Victory in New York City for Sam Bird, the first man to win a race in the Big Apple. Good on Sam, excellent something. That was impressive. John Eric Van and Stefan sure Sarazan. You sure this is chicken flag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you gotta love Sam. Awesome He's the ultimate well done. pessimist. Well done. May not have been the plan, but it'll do. Yes, Victory. <laughs> yeah! Oh, move from Sam Bird. Sam oh, great down the inside. Rosa Quest will try the over under. Oh, he's gonna be passed oh. by his teammate. Is he? Your teammate. Oh, Drag race into seven. <laughs> This move, you can see how late. He just set him up, and Felix was too late. And Felix locked the rears on, on trying to defend from him too. Very opportunistic pass by Sam Bird. Very nice. Oh, was that the Jagger? Massive Whoa! sideways. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look at Jerome D'Ambrosio. A long way back. Wow. And then he's trying to stop. Oh, wow. No. And he's hit the rear wing. Has he hit the rear wing or not? It not look like it. It was identical to the Felix Rosenquist incident yesterday. Let's see. Did he get the wing? i tell you what did happen. Yeah, he oh, did. Yeah, he did. Lloyd oh, Duval yeah. got a free spot. Here we go. Lloyd oh, Duval. Oh, no. no. That... <laughs> trying, to, trying to muscle. Oh, wow. It worked. Yeah. I didn't see that. He might get a little interview with the, the stewards after that. He kind of muscled him a bit, didn't he? Listen to how early he's having to lift. Here comes the Costa. Gonna send him the dummy? No, nope. but yeah, there yeah. we go. Oh, oh, I mean, that was. Well, that was. Um, Inelegant. Guys. Antonio Felix da Costa moves up. I don't suspect he will finish the race with ninth place points. Yeah, I think understandable that anger in the garage, but we apologize for the language. What a weekend it's been for DS Virgin.
with their patron, Sir Richard Branson, on hand. Hold for Alex Lynn on day one. Victory on day one and day two for Sam Bird, who sweeps New York. And here come the Mahindra teammates. Gasly. Got Gasly. Gasly in the middle of it. And Gasly into the fence. And again. What happened there? What a car. Well done. I would say what a driver, too. We go green in New York City and Mitch Evans isn't going anywhere. Oh, a disastrous start for the Jaguar driver. It's a Renault 1-2 coming down into the first corner at the dog loop. Out wide goes Owen into the back. The two Dragon cars take each other out. On board with Sam Bird, who's in 10th place now. So a few shuffles here, a few pit stops there for Lopez. And now here comes Bird. He's going to be up into ninth position because he's got the inside line on Jerome D'Ambrosio. And he is through on the brakes into the dock loop. Mr. Grassi trying to make a move on Mauro Engel. Round the outside. I'm not sure I'd be trying to do it. We did it. Wow. Did it before. He's locked up, though. He locked up the outside front. Sebastian Buemi is out front. Now coming and under hit. attack from Daniel App. Through goes Apt into the lead of the E-Pre. Down into turn 11. Rosenquist covers. Not enough, though. Caught looking at dust. <laughs> Keep your hands on the wheel, old son. Keep right. your hands on the wheel. Out goes Bird. Another one. And there we go. The two Bird. Mahindras had an issue. And Bird has lost a lot of time and almost goes into the back of Nico Cross there. But he's still Rosenquist in front of Rosenquist cannot get into his garage. His teammate came out, put him offline. He cannot get into the garage. And oh, Pique Nelson slowing. Pique. That cannot be belts. Surely that cannot be belts for Nelson Pique. He's shaking his head. He's twice this season come out of the pits without his belts done up. Oh, oh no. Alex Lynn's in the wall just as Maro Engel comes on the attack to try and go past, and he does go through. Huge so, shunt. But Alex Lynn has gone off at the fastest corner on the circuit at Bound Street. He's in the wall, and that is going to be a safety car. Oh, what just lost the rear. Oh, that was a massive shunt. And he lifted his head forward, which is what you do not want to do in a rear impact. Coming down into, oh, the dog loop, and it's a big lock Bird, Bird's coming line. into the back of Frost as well. Still no moves made yet for Sam Bird. Here he comes this time, Sam Bird up the there inside of Nico Cross. Decisive move from the Englishman, and that is one place gained up into ninth. As it stands, though, that is still not enough to keep the championship going until tomorrow. But here comes Lucas Degrassi down into the left-hander. A red hook for the final time. The checker flag falls. Degrassi wins an Audi 1-2 in New York. But jean eric Verne across the line in fifth place seals the season four Formula E championship. Here comes Lothra, trying to go around the outside, and he's locked up. He's going to throw that position away to Degrassi, is he? Nope, not quite. Degrassi crunches him from behind. Look at the start. Watch the Tachitas. Oh, that's a jump. Oh, was that, that a both jump? Both of them. Was it a jump start, or was... Both of them looked like Let's a jump start. Let's see the lights. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. Uh, Lothra jumped it, oh. definitely. I think Vern... I think Vern... Vern was on the limit too. Both to cheaters under investigation for jumping the start, and this could be their team's title going down the drain in New York City. Oh, and in the wall is Jose Maria Lopez. Front damage, rear right damage. Has he broken that on a curb? That looks more like something that's broken on a curb jack. Yeah, but there's to... nose damage as well, but perhaps from a different incident. That's Jay Penske, the boss of the Stop team, and he's shaking his head. It's pouring smoke. Let's see what happens here. We're on board with him coming out of turn two. That was fine. Oh, no, no it wasn't. He broke it on the curb in turn yeah. two. D'Ambrosio's oh. off as well. Has he been caught out by the full course yellow? Well, when things rain, they pour for the Dragon team. He's further back in this pack. Still to come, still coming, still coming. See him. He's up behind Antonio Felix de Costa. Those two, oh, those two collide. Felipe into the back of the Costa, the uh, Costa, and then Felipe comes back in front of D'Ambrosio, so there's nothing really D'Ambrosio could have done. And Lotterer has just been given a 10 second stop and go Ooh. time penalty. It's 10 second stop go time penalty for jumping the start. It is a long pit lane. Well, that, that will be done at the pit stop. As it stands, Audi would win the team's championship. Here comes Daniel Abt up the inside of Sebastian Buemi. There's nothing Buemi to can do to stop the Audi coming past, and that puts a real strong hand for Audi on the Season 4 Teams Championship in ABB Formula E. Here they come. 
Into the pits though come the race leaders, jean eric Verne in. Lucas de Grassi right behind. No minimum pit stop time. It's all about how fast you can get out, change your car. De Grassi will have to be so careful on his pit release here. The release he is going to be critical, coming out a different side of the garage. Away goes Verne. I think it was a slow one from Verne. Nope, still got it. Oh. <laughs> Just out in front, and the top three remain in that order. And here's Buemi using the fan boost. Not quite close enough to Daniel Abdizi. Tries to send the dummy towards the inside. Commitment from Buemi. Sliding, sliding, and through. Buemi up into third place. Daniel Ab drops to fourth. That gesticulates with his hands. But there was a committed move from Sebastian Buemi, and he's up in the third spot. And that smiles for Tachita. So Lotharo will surely make this move coming into the left-hander, look how close, oh, they oh, hit oh. him, they hit! jean eric Verne holds the lead for now, but Degrassi is pushing him all the way, literally! Down to the final corner now. A stunning fourth season of ABB Formula E comes to an end with jean eric Verne, the champion winning. But it's second and third for Audi, and it is the team's championship for Audi. Sims around the outside of Verline in turn one. Brilliant move from Alexander Sims, and he is going to nab third place. And immediately pounced on is Daniel Apt. So Apt goes past Verline as well. Verline just shuffling backwards and backwards. And you see Sam Burr trying to go round the outside. Oh, oh the Dragons get together. Yeah, the Dragons got together. Then Lopez has hit him, and burn has been hitting all of that. Yellow flags flying down there, and Lotter is facing the wrong way. Has Vern got a problem? Left rear. Is that left rear puncture for Vern? It is left rear puncture, Jack. You're absolutely right. It's some damage to the front. The championship leader has to come into the pit. Oh, wow. That was a late move from Massa. <laughs> now, these two have got previous. They were... Mortara got past them both, though. Well, so earlier was it Massa? It was actually... Think... No, Massa goes at the inside. Goes in so deep, Mortara's like, OK, thanks. And Mortara did well, fantastic. <laughs> but they, those two were arguing after free practice one. Yeah. Lin's got a problem. Oh, is that Alex? Lin's Lin 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 slowing down. The Jaguar pulls over and he's running out. What has happened to Lin? He's still going. He's going again. It's accelerating again. It's over for Alex Lin. Oh, what a disaster for him. Look, it's gone. And Apps in attack mode. Daniel Apps in attack mode in the out. He goes to the outside. Sims is late on the brakes. And he's going to show him the door. Nicely defended. And that's going to allow the other BMW. Antonio Felix got it together the fight. Apps tries to shut him out of the way. And through goes Mitch, Mitch Evans. Evans. What a pass. And then Verline goes through. Apps has got damage, has he? He's, on the, he's just on the dirty part of the track. And the track is breaking up too, it sounds like. Whoa! Is... Look at that. The Costa. Attacking Mitch Evans. Was a contact. Evans was defending vigorously. Oh. This year. Jerome D'Ambrosio. Oh, that was. I think they got hooked up. I don't okay. think he did that. He had full lock on. It's I Gary think. Pappet. He just grabbed the side of Pappet's car. That was not on purpose. And Degrassi goes again into nine. Nudge. And he's got past. Wow, you might get in trouble for that, that one, That was touring car-esque. And Apt goes to the outside now. And barreling in comes Mortara. Mortara nudges the back of Verline. And Verline's thinking, what oh, happened? Oh, there's problems for Mortara. Mortara's in the wall. He's damaged. Roland has damage too. And Verne! jean eric Verne! There's chaos at turn one. Oh. And jean eric Verne will not score any points. Diaz to Cheetah can't believe what they're seeing. Formula E can't believe what it's seeing. The championship leader. Where is this? Is it turn one and two, isn't it? It's turn two, yeah, it's the second of the right-handers. Turn two. So that means the championship is going to go down to the wire tomorrow, thanks to a collision for Verne on the final lap. So Verne goes for it on Massa. He's up alongside. Well, he's wheel to wheel, they bang. Wheels. Oh, and Verne, oh, and then they... Oh, we'll get the onboard out of... Here we go. Here we go. This is the next bit. The critical bit is where the orange part of the wall is. Oh, Felipe. Oh. Felipe, what are you doing? Felipe, baby. And Sebastian Buemi with his first win of the season on the streets of New York City. Pushes himself, fires himself into championship contention. <laughs> oh, right behind him.
Another incident with a dragon. Lopez spun around again. So Lopez loves getting spun around down at turn six. Oh, it's the dummy from Frights. He's but he's one. offline. He's on the dirty part of the track. Oh, he got it oh. stopped. Brilliant move from the man from Maastricht. Here he goes again on Daniel Am. Oh, Am, Am come it. on. This is, this is to do with the championship, Jack. I'm telling you, he is defending because if he scores more points, he's potentially going to pass Lucas Degrassi in the Drivers' Championship. Only three points between them. Up the inside goes Apt. Trying to get his way past Double Van Dorn, and he's done it. So Apt has gone from defending from Evans to attacking and passing Stoffel Van Dorn. Good work. Pretty wide. Andretti team. Robin Freund's going for the lead. Being squeezed and squeezed by Sims, and the move is made. Robin Freund forces his way into first place. Sims drops down to second. Little calm nod from Sylvain Felipe, the boss of the Envision Virgin Racing team. But nothing coming of it. And uh, <laughs> Mitch Evans, was that in purpose? Did he just, or has he got a problem? Evans has Mitch. a problem. Mitch Evans, yeah. Degrassi's up the inside. Degrassi's oh. in the wall. Evans is in the wall. But Robin Freund's out of the final corner to take the checkered flag and to take the victory in New York City. Robin Freund's wins. All five lights are on. And we go green in New York City. Pretty good start from Cassidy. Sweeps across immediately to cover the inside. And there's Alex Lynn in the red and white of Mahindra, locking up on the outside. Oh, and going straight on. Lynn almost got him into second place, but he's dropped back down to fifth. Further back, Sam Bird making some big moves, and he's tagged one of the DS oh. cheaters. <laughs> It's all, it's all kicking off already in turn turn 10. Oh, and there's contact on the straight there, is there? That is Bird and Turvey coming together, I think halfway down the straight, battling over 17th place. Oh, big into the back. Lynn's been spun around. And uh, the Verline in the Porsche just plowed straight into the back of Alex Lynn. Verline was going for attack mode and he has broken his car. Verline is not going to score any points today. A fight for third place. Max Gunter up the inside of Sebastian Buemi and the BMW i Andretti driver gets ahead into third place now. And that is Mitch Evans. Just trying to see which way he's facing. Is that contact or a mechanical for uh, Evans. Attention all teams, attention all teams. Full course yellow ending in five, four, three, two, and green flag, green flag. And immediately, that was a very short full course yellow and racing gets back underway. Cassidy has lost quite a bit of ground actually to jean eric Verne, but he's got an attack mode. Here is Lucas de Grassi and he's under pressure from Oliver Rowland as they come down into the first corner. Lynn has been passed by Freintz. De Grassi just ahead of Oliver Rowland and there goes Freintz getting past Buemi. So Robin Freintz from 11th on the grid has now got up into sixth position. And I think that's what you've got to do, isn't it? If you're in group Freintz one... Freintz on the attack again, this time going past Roland, up into fifth place. Freintz is carving through the field. <laughs> More side-by-side -side action here as Lotterer passes. Great job, mate. Gap to Jeff, 1.6. For reference, he has fan boost. He has... And that is Nick Cassidy being told that jean eric Verne has fan boost. Nick Cassidy is the race leader there. Lotterer is going to invest that energy in trying to pass Alex Lynn and going around the outside of Alex Lynn down into turn six and seven. Oh, that's Dennis going on the attack. Past Alexander Sims, so Sims now drops down to 10th place and he might lose out to Da Costa as well. Da Costa on the inside, Sims on the outside, but Da Costa rather sensibly thinks better of it. And there's Dennis on the attack again. Again, all locked up but this time gets the move done by the looks of things and Alexander Sims and is going to try and get through on Alex Lynn as well. The two Mahindras going side by side and Sims gets held out to try a little bit. Sam Bird is now getting involved and as soon as Sims got on the dirty part of the track on the outside, he was just absolutely powerless to resist any attack and he's now back behind Rene Rast as well. So Sims goes from 10th to 14th in the space of a couple of corners and someone's slowing there, I think it's Dennis. Jake Dennis is slowing down on the left-hand side. The BMW i Andretti driver had fought hard to get from 15th up into the points and is now going to be out of the race. And there's the attack from Vern. Vern went for it, coming down into turn six. Cassidy defended it, and defending is not the most efficient way to drive. And there goes Vern. Vern on the attack for the lead. They bang wheels, and Gunter says thank you very much. And Max Gunter hits the front in New York City. Cassidy's involved. Degrassi.
trying to get up the inside of Cassidy, who's gone from the lead down to fourth place. Max Gunter through the final corner. The checker flag falls for BMW and Andretti in New York City. Wonderful drive from Gunter. He takes the win. Yeah! Come on! And we go green in New York City. Good start from Bird, but it's a better start from Cassidy. He is going to put alongside Mitch Evans down into the first corner. Evans locks up. He's so close to going into the back of his teammate. He somehow holds on to second position. Lotter actually has dropped back. And now Evans is defending, coming down into the left-hander at turn six. At the end of Bound Street, everybody safely through the first couple of corners, I think, although they're now starting to fan out and go side by side on the attack. And, oh, Jean-Éric Verne hasn't got off the line. Jean-Éric Verne has not started the race after breaking down in qualifying. Verne's race does not even begin. Oh, be Mortara and Dennis are having a crunch there. Coming down into seven, oh. and Mortara almost spins out. After contact oh, with Dennis, he's stuck against the wall. He's going to have to find reverse gear, and the championship leader is in the wall and is barely going to score any points today. And there go the two Jaguars in unison, activating their attack mode. Bird holds the lead, but Cassidy jumps up into second place ahead of Mitch Evans. There goes Evans up the inside. And he makes it through, back into second place. Sandberg leads, Evans is second. Evans covers the inside. Cassidy goes to the outside. Not close enough to make a move yet, but this is going to be fascinating stuff. Here comes the Envision Virgin car to the outside of his good friend Mitch Evans, and he sweeps through and moves into second place. Neat, tidy move from Cassidy. Here's a replay of Sebastian Buemi. Oh, coming together with Lucas Degrassi. Looking at it again here. De Costa using his fan boost, coming down the back straight, and he goes to the inside, gets on the dirty stuff, and Nick Cassidy closed the door. De Costa couldn't make it through. And here it is, what's happened to Mitch Evans? Cassidy's up into second place. Evans has suddenly dropped down to fourth. Nick Cassidy into second position for the Envision Virgin Racing Team. Antonio Felix De Costa's got him into third, and Evans has gone from second down to fourth out of absolutely nowhere. Evans is now under pressure from Pascal Verlein. Through two goes Andre Lotterer. It's all fallen apart for Mitch Evans. That's exactly it. That's exactly where he hit the wall in qualifying, and then he just had no grip. Checker flag falls, Sam Bird and Jaguar win in New York City and take the lead of the championship. Sam Bird wins for the second time this season 